flipping joy. Today is another day of my summer vacation. I wonder what I should do this time. Alright Jack, I already made you breakfast right now it is time to get up. For what? Well, it is time for you to go back to school. Oh you got to be freaking kidding me. Summer is over already. I'm not freaking going idiot. I'm staying home to have fun. Hey, watch what you're calling me. You have to go to school because summer is over. Also, it's your first day of school and you are 11th grader now. Now get up and eat breakfast or else you will be in so much trouble. This day is going to suck huge time. Because I am now going back to this stupid school from summer vacation. I hope this day doesn't get so oh 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 ugly. After Jack Dave, his mother and his father ate their breakfast. Okay Jack, we hope you will have a very good day today at school. Yeah, whatever. Oh look, here comes the buzz. Bye Jack. Goodbye Jack. Bye mom and dad. Oh, hey Jack. Hey Yoda 27 number glick. Dayana, Wobro, and Candy. Anyways, it's good to see all of you again. I know, how was your summer? OMG my boyfriend, we've had a very terrible summer this year. We went to summer school this year and we got grounded a lot of flipping times. Yeah, me too. I had a horrible summer just like you guys, because I went to summer school this year and I always get into trouble by my parents a lot of flipping times. Oh, we see. When Jack Dave arrived at school. Oh, my flipping. Gosh. I can't even flipping. Believe I have to be here today. This school is like a flipping prison and is stealing my flipping childhood. This day should be flipping great as heck. Oh, great. Now it's time to head to class. It's going to suck huge flipping time. Good morning class. Welcome back to school, and welcome to the 2022 to 2023 school year. My name is Mr. Hefty Michael Fan 2013, or you can call me Mr. H, and I will be your teacher this year. I hope you all had a great summer. I know I had. Our flipping summer went so gosh dang well until this day flipping happened as flipping heck. School shouldn't even exist. Before we start off our day, we will be taking attendance. Okay. Courgette. Here. Pinocchio. Here. Four. Here. Nine. Here. New York Islanders Jr. Here. Chicka Chicka Boom Boom Lowercase Letter E. Here. SpongeBob SquarePants, or simply known as SpongeBob. Here. And Little Green Man. Here. Alright, good, everyone is here. That's great, now that we took attendance, let's start. In first period, starting at 8.30 a.m., we are going to do math today until second period starts. What the heck? Math on the first freaking day. Are you stupid or something? I don't want to do stupid math. Jack Dave. Don't talk to me like that. It's part of my lesson today. Everyone needs to learn math, including you. Oh, and since you don't have five warnings, that's your first warning, four more left and then you will get sent to the principal's office and then you will be suspended from that. Oh come on, not a stupid warning. Remove my stupid warning right freaking now or else I will beat the flip out of you. No. Jack, for begging, that's your second warning. Three more left and then you will be suspended. Got it? Got it, you idiot. Excuse me. What did you just call me? Ah, uh, nothing. That's what I thought. Anyways, get your computers from your backpack, and I will be assigning all of you the first math assignment. When I'm done, you all will start the math assignment right away. When all students are done with the first math assignment and then Mr. Hefty grades all of their work. Alright, I graded all of your work from it. Let's start off with Courgette. Nice job Courgette. You got a 25 out of 30. 
That means you gotta be, Pinocchio, you also got a 25 out of 30. You also gotta be just like Courgette. Number but 4, you got a 27 out of 30, which means you got a A minus. Good joke. Number but 9, you got a 26 out of 30, which means you gotta be just like Pinocchio and Courgette. Nice job, chicka chicka boom boom letter you got a 28 out of 30, which means you got a A. Good joke, New York Islanders Jr., you got a 24 out of 30, which means you got a B minus. Nice job, guess what SpongeBob Square Pants? You got a 30 out of 30, which means you got a A plus. Awesome joke boy, I am so proud of you. Little Green Man, you got a 29 out of 30, which means you got a A just like Chicka Chicka Boom Boom lowercase letter A, good joke, and Jack Dave. That's your third warning, because you got a 0 out of 30, which means you got a F that is a failure. Try again please. Fine, whatever. When Jack Dave fixes it with attempts and let's see what happens. Jack Dave, now you got a 19 out of 30, which means you got a D. Fine. I will take and deal with that stupid D. When second period starts. Hello class, welcome to second period of the first day of school. I am Mr. Onyx Gray, or you can call me Mr. O, and I will be your teacher in this class. I already take on attendance on all of people, anyways, we are gonna learn about world history. No way. We are not doing world freaking history, and that's final. Now let us be free early from school right flipping now or else we'll kick the heck out of you. Hey, all of you, all of you stop being so negative right now. That's it, Jack, that's your fourth warning. One more and you will be getting suspended. And as for all of you, Diana Zola, Black Jake Troy, Black Jeff Troy and Black Jake Troy, you all got your first warning. Four more and you will be all getting suspended. Anyways, we are gonna learn about the Americans. I will get all of you world history American books and listen to them carefully so you will know them. I will be plugging all of your first assignments you have to do. It's in Google Classroom, because of that, get out your computers and go to Google Classroom. Again, I will be getting all of you world history American books so you will have to answer it in your computer Google Classroom assignment. Good luck on your first assignment. When all students are done with the first World History American assignment and then Mr. O grades all of their work. Alright, I graded all of your work from the first World History assignment. Let's start off with Mary. Good job Mary. you got A on the first World History assignment. You also got a 15 out of 16 and a 94% on your assignment. Great job, Lisa Simpson, nice job for getting a B, a 14 out of 16 and 88% on your first assignment. 11. Nice job for also getting a B, a 14 out of 16, and 88% on your first assignment. Number bloat 13. I'm sorry I have to say this, but you got a F, a 3 out of 16 and a 19% on your first assignment. Oh, I'm lucky. Don't even worry about it, you will have better luck next time. Anyways, guess what SpongeBob Square happens in number bloat 7? You both got an A+, a 16 out of 16 and a 100% on your first assignment. Really awesome job both of you. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Mirabelle and Chai Bai, nice job both of you getting a B minus, a 13 out of 16 and 81 percent on your first assignment. The trio Black Toys, you all got a F, a 8 out of 16 and a 50 percent on your first assignment. That means you have to try again. All of you go back to your assignment and redo all of your assignments right now that pass your first assignment. Diana Zola, you also got a F, but you got a 2 out of 16 and a 13% on your first assignment. Go back and redo your first assignment right now that pass it. And as for you, Jack Dave, you got a F, a 0 out of 16, and a 0% on your first assignment, that's a 100% complete failure for you. Now you have to go back and redo your assignment. Oh you got to be kidding me! I don't deserve a stupid zero and a stupid F. I want to A right now you stupid dumb idiot. Now you better get me you right now, or else I will put house sauce on your freaking mouth and see how you freaking like it. Oh, my, flipping, gosh. Jack Dave, how dare you yell the heck out of me over getting an F. That is, so, that you got your final warning. That's it. I've enough of you. Principal's office. Right, freaking, now. Oh hello Jack. The name's Ms. Jean Michael Fan 2013. 
I am the principal of Rapper School, anyways, what brings you here in my office? Well, you are not gonna be excited when I say this, but, I was misbehaving on my first day of my 11th grade school year. I got my first warning for disrespecting about math in first period. I got my second warning for begging. I got my third warning for getting a zero on my first math assignment. I got my fourth warning for being naughty over world history. And I got my fifth and final warning for yelling and being mean to my second period world history teacher. Jack Dave, I can't believe you misbehaved on your first day of your 11th grade school year, and why would you do all of these things? Well, because my teachers are being idiots. And I also hate being in this stupid school ever. No. You have done these things like refusing to do math, yelling and being mean to teachers and subjects, getting a zero on your assignments and worst of all, you even yelled your second period world history teacher with your red fire eyes and extremely furious over getting a zero and an F. You know the rules for that, I have to suspend you for 5 days for your misbehavior. Now go home right freaking now. I will call your parents for your misbehavior also. Hello, is this Jack's parents? Yes. What did my son do? Well, you're both not gonna be happy when I tell you this, but Jack Dave has misbehaved on his first day of 11th grade school year. He has done things wrong like refusing to do math, yelling and being mean to his teachers and subjects, getting a zero and an F on his assignments and worst of all, he even yelled his second period world history teacher with his red fire eyes and extremely furious over getting a zero and an F. He was suspended for 5 days for his misbehavior. He did? What? Oh my gosh. Thank you for telling us, MS. We will pick him up and ground him for his misbehavior. You're welcome. I will talk to you when Jack Dave is causing trouble again. Bye. Bye, Principal. What a stupid idiotic troublemaker. When Jack Dave's parents picked him up and sent him home. Jack Dave. We can't believe you misbehaved on your first day of your 11th grade school year. You know the rules for that. Like seriously, why would you have to cause trouble on your first day of school? What the flip is your problem? But dad and mom, I just hate school. Alright, I'm so oh 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 sorry. We don't give a flying flip jab, and your apology is flipping denied. Just for misbehaving on your first day of your 11th grade school year. You are grounded until your suspension is over. Now go to your room right now and never come out until your grounding is over. Darn it. Why does my life get any worse than this right now? It's not fair.